pile. Yes. I was going to pile. I have a question. Do you not get cold? I'm in Alaska, guys, and it feels like a dream. And I completely messed up. I'm starting on a bad foot. I looked at the weather app and all I saw was sunshine for the next week. And I figured, hey, let's go. It's fall, right? It's two degrees, it's two degrees and, and all I got is this little sweater, guys. It's okay, we'll make an adventure out of it. So this is normal. Even though it's sunny, it's still cold. Uh-huh. And you're, you're from the park, right? Yeah. So you're used to this cold weather. Yeah. Not me, man, I'm from Miami. Oh, okay. <laughs> you came for work? I came to explore. Oh, explore or visit, right? Yeah, visit, uh, yeah. First time? Yep. Oh, okay. You plan to go Denali? No. Or just Anchorage? Just, I don't know. I'll see what I find. Oh, okay. I have no plans. Oh, no plans. Oh, no yeah. plans. How many days are you going to stay? Until I get too cold. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you just get the one-way ticket? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm staying at a local house, guys. This is what a neighborhood looks like. Everything seems to look the same. Most of the house have the same color. Guys, I'm extremely lucky. I found my old jacket over here. This has been to almost every country with me. Every state that I've gone to. And now it's in Alaska and it's gonna do the job. When you got here 35 years ago? Mexicans. Mexican speaking actually. Restaurant owners that catch the cats, they make the food, the food from So they'll go outside catching cats and dogs and they'll make the food from that? Yeah, yeah. not what? anymore, but they has been caught by the wow. 36 in Arctic. How do you see Alaska? Has it grown in the last 35 years or? They're grow growing down. Oh, the population is going down? <laughs> yes. Everybody laid up from the north slope of the oil field, the gas pipeline. Thousands and thousands of people has been laid up, and uh, around forty thousand people moved out of here. Used to be the population two hundred ninety-two thousand, now it's two hundred forty-five or something like this. That's because what the the oil yes. went down. They closed it. Yeah. Forty thousand people didn't have nothing to do when they left. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they moved back to the, because the 60, 70 percent of this people and the workers that came from the lower 48. So. Alright, brother. Nice meeting you, man. Take care. Have Good have talks. Been. Take care. You too, brother. All right. This is the park here in downtown, guys. Pretty sad. It's full of it's full of homeless people. Once it gets too cold, they'll go to the shelters. First Alaskan beer, guys, for the soul. Two beers in, and I'm still the coldest I ever been, even more than Antarctica. It's probably due to the lack of clothing, guys. Anyways. I left the other beer place and I came to this one. I thought I was in a touristic place. I want to try more, more local food. Whoa, what's that? Oh, I thought that was a phone camera. No, it's a, it's a GoPro. I'm just making a little video here. <laughs> I want to point out where we're at, guys. We're here in Anchorage and I made a friend over here. His name is Kevin. He was born here in Alaska, but he's from a very different part, very, very far, brother. Tell us, what, tell me what you were telling me earlier. Uh, I couldn't get it on camera, guys. Oh, I was pretty much just saying that I was born here and then I was, uh, my family lived in Dutch Harbor, also known as Alaska. And that's like a small island, I don't know if you pointed it out, but yeah, Let me show you guys, so here's Anchorage where the majority of the flights come in and then he's from all the way over here, his family. Unalaska, this little, this long chain of islands, almost like an archipelago of islands there. And 
Oh, that, that's where you're from. Is like a population of. It was probably now like six to eight thousand. I'm not really sure the exact number, but it was. It's like a small town. Which, right. Out there, so. Um, and your your family is from there, and some of them are from. What's your other half? Uh, I'm half Filipino and I'm half white. So half of my family grew up in Alaska, and they've just been all over Alaska, like Cordova, Alaska, Sedovia, Alaska, and then they, my dad finally settled in um, Dutch Harbor, Alaska. But the other half of my family is Filipino, and they um, came from Davao, Philippines. Which is, so basically, for the people living here in Alaska, like to get out and go anywhere, even within the lower 48 states or out of the country, you have to get to Seattle or somewhere on the West Coast Pretty much, and yeah. then take another flight. So doubles, triples the time. What about flying to where you were born? I mean, where your family is from? Like from Anchorage to una, Alaska? In Alaska? In Alaska. So you would take a flight well, I, we're here in Anchorage right now, but it's like a three and a half hour flight to Dutch Harbor, Alaska, which is on the Lucian chain. And that's like a very small airline it's called Raven, right Alaska. There's no guarantee that you're going to make it out there because the weather is always it's very it's hit or brutal, miss. especially yeah. with the winter coming out. Yeah, right? yeah, it's either raining sideways or, you know, blowing. Have a look at the local menu, guys. So. The, the halibut seems like the thing to try, but this definitely caught my eye. Where is it? Oh, it's the reindeer cheeseburger. They have a reindeer cheeseburger here. So I came over here with absolutely no idea of what I was going to film. I always do that, but here it's just different. I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's, it's just different. It's such a mysterious place over here. So many stories. I'm trying to catch all the ones I can on camera. But it's tough. Half the people, actually more than half the people, they don't want to be filmed. It's just, I don't know, it's just a, a cloud of mystery over here. All right, thank you. All righty, guys, check it out. A cup of chowder. I just want to eat local food, guys. This is what I'm all about. So they added Alaskan smoked salmon to it. And bread and butter. I don't have to say this, guys, but it is extremely cold over here in Alaska. I'm from the Caribbean. I got to stay warm. Let's try the local clam chowder. Baby, I have the idea. Mm. It's a good thing, right? Yeah. Can I get the food? Do you need a second? I must say, the adding smoked salmon to some clam chowder is definitely a good idea. Mm. It has that smoky taste to it, and it blends really well. That was the best clam chowder I ever had in. The soup was good itself, the chowder itself was good, but it's the addition of the smoked salmon on it. Game changer. Game changer. Local food guys, Halibu fish and chips. It's a big deal here. In case you're wondering what it is, this is it right here, Pacific Halibu. The fish looks like that. And it comes from here. And they make fish and chips to it. I'm sorry, what was that? Malt vinegar is really good on the white fish. Alright, thank you. Alright, let's let's take her recommendation. Let's try it out guys. Halibu. Uh, I hate this word. I read it like halibut, but it, they say halibu. And whatever. Let's try it by itself first. Yeah, that is good. It's like, you know, normal fish and chips, they usually come with cod. And um, the Halibut is like cod hotter sister. That's exactly what it is. Let's see, let's take her recommendation for that. I, I, I never done this. I love fish and chips, but I usually just dip them in tartar sauce. That's good. Very good. Mm. Mm. 
the star sauce guys, it's delicious. And it's worth the upgrade. This costs like five or ten dollars more than the cod fish and chips. But it's something you try over here guys. They get all these fish from these rich Alaskan waters. Learning a little bit about Alaska guys, I found some information that I found unbelievable guys. So tell us about the white, he's from Bethel, yep. a part of, a remote part of Alaska. Yeah, so Bethel's off the road system from Anchorage, it's like 500 miles um, southwest and uh, yeah, we got no roads, we got to fly into town all the time and uh, the cost of living is pretty astronomical there. Um, in the past, internet would be like 400 bucks for 200 gigs, and you have to pay a dollar a gig extra if you went over that for the month. Um, but man, Starlink's been hooking up, and we're glad to see this technology get out and find us there, and it's been life changing. Guys, that is $400 a month for 200 gigs. <laughs> you pass it, and you pay a dollar extra per gig. Yeah, and it's still slow. So. And, and it's still slow. Yep. Like dial up slow or not dial up slow, but um, just like you know, if you're can soft. you play online like, games? Like, I'm a big online gamer. All right, all right, there it is. All right, like Fortnite, you know, I'd be lagging all the time, so I guess that's what I would equate the speed to. And what about uploading? Like, can you upload or is it gonna take forever? Yeah, it takes forever. Like, if you download or like a, like a Fortnite update, like a two gig update will take you like three hours. And, uh, all right, and that's like modern things, but what he was telling me earlier was for the food, everything that you guys eat there, yeah. you guys hunt or fish? Yeah, um, you know, it's a special place to live, and something that helps is living a subsistence lifestyle. So, uh, where Bethel's located, we have opportunities to catch a lot of like wild, sa wild salmon, moose, caribou. Um, birds like geese and ducks and ptarmigan. So almost everyone there hunts and hunts and fishes and uh, you know gets food off the land, and that's our primary food source. Um, what about like grains and vegetables? You guys grow your own, or can, it's, can it's you? A, it's a pretty tough environment to, uh, to farm out there, but there is one uh, farmer uh, that kind of provides a lot of uh, the, the produce for the whole town. So, and he, and he, you know, he's very nice with his prices, and so yeah, he's figured it out. I don't know how he does in the winter, but he has it pretty dialed in. <laughs> he, he makes it happen. Yeah, I don't know how. He makes it happen. I, I, I gotta go, I gotta go check out that town one of these days. Oh. He, he's motivating me to do it. He just keeps telling me the story. I'm just like, that's everything I want to go see. That's the Alaska that I want to see. Yeah, Bethel. Bethel, Alaska. We're population 8,000, but we service a hub of like 30,000. And there's no roads, but we're all connected by the Kuskokum River. And in the winter, when it freezes, people in the villages they just take their trucks and drive on the river to Bethel. That's how they like go to the grocery store. And, and the back. cars don't slip and slide, or yeah, they do a little bit, but they know uh, what they're doing. They, main, they maintain. They actually like maintain a, a road with the uh, trackers and loaders and get all the snow off so it's like a maintained road like highway or, a river road like. yeah yeah Brr, guys all right heading out of the local pub gage told me you gotta check out a local fighting scene over here there's the night fights sir it's a thing here guys afc alaskan fighting championship and he said it's very close and yeah, we got to make it because he's from here. He's used to this weather, but me, <laughs> yeah, the border of Venezuela raising Miami, I am freezing yeah, my crazy. huevas right now. <laughs> Me estoy congelando las huevas. <sighs> Bro, this is, it's not even nighttime yet. Like, it's still a little bit of sun. There's still a little bit of light over there. I have a question. Do you not get cold? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. You're just walking like it's all good. Um, I'm from Alaska. <laughs> this is normal? I guess. For me. Well, look, I am freezing right now. Yeah, I'm covered from head to toe and I'm just, <laughs> I'm freezing my balls, man. Hey, hey. They call me
it works is some people are trying to make it pro and then you have teachers fighting versus teachers. That's what's going on here, but it's entertaining as fuck. Fight night Anchorage is not done, but we're leaving out early. You see everything teachers, guys that just woke up in sweatpants, <laughs> <laughs> guys that take it very serious. And it's kind of funny because everybody's just having a good time. Everybody's just kind of chilling, looking at it, bum bum, making fun of it, but not too hard. And, and then you see this guy that's just like, he wants to make it, and my respects to him. He, there's been a couple guys that made it out of here into MMA, but it's just a sight. Fuck yeah, we started fighting right after high school. I know. Bro, what is yeah, an we're auntie? Finding an auntie for him. An auntie's an auntie. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> what it is? It's like an old ass native lady. That's an auntie. Oh. No, that don't have to be that old. That's good enough. Good enough. Good enough for you. <laughs> no, good enough for me too. <laughs> So question, in Alaska here, do you guys understand any Spanish at all? Not at all. Do you know anything at all? Like, hola, como estas? Anything aside from that? There's Spanish people. I know, Arondano is what, cranberry? Alright, you got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, Maduele La Barriga is like, I hurt my dick. Como? What? Maduele La Barriga. <laughs> Alright, you got that. And what about you? What do you know, bro? I just know, uh, que pasa cabron. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that, was, that was good, that was good. What about you? No Spanish? No, no speak Spanish. <laughs> and Beto, any Spanish over there? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> no. I don't know. I'm trying to think of door right now, like, shit. It's a uh, blink, I'm blink. <laughs> Koyana. <laughs> Koyana, I got it. All right, I got it. I got it right that time. Koyana. That means thank you in the Yupik language. Yeah. From one of the biggest tribes here in Alaska. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. One of the tribes here in Alaska. Koyana. Thank you. My man over here is covered from head to toe and he is burring right now. 
He's buried. So if he's buried, imagine how I feel right now coming from Miami, Florida. True. I'm, guys, I'm freaking cold. But it's okay, it's okay. We're going to, where are we going? Bro, where are we going? Where are we going? Pile, pile brother. Pile. 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 Yes. Right, we're yes. going to pile. Pile. Pile and then gaslight. Hey, it's pile. I don't even know where I'm going, guys. I'm, I'm just having a great time. Darwin's theory of survival. It's right there. No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. My guy. Hey. What it do? What it do, Tampa? Hey, so you know what it is, my guy. So Literally the best one. 25, 25. 25, 25. Are you Am I gonna be TikTok what? famous now? No, this is going on YouTube. I'm making a vlog here of my experience over here. Where are you from? I was born in Venezuela and raised in Miami. Florida. Venezuela? Venezolano, and I met so him you, earlier. I met so him earlier. So He's from know, Tampa. You know, plata y pluma. You can't get fucking really than this right here. Plata y peso pluma. Yeah, that's it. Venezuelan. No, he's Mexican. Plata y pluma. Peso pluma. Yeah, but you know what it means. Yeah, yeah, you talking about Alaska? He's from South Africa. You got, no, a story that? you got a story behind that? Venezuela. You got a story behind that? I got a story behind this jacket. I bought it years ago, and I yeah, take it's it everywhere. Yeah, it's the World Cup. You were there? Yeah. You were there. I've been to Russia. He's in a gang. And where are you at FIFA World Cup? Negative gold. I shut down games. Negative gold. Don't try to impress me. Don't try to impress me. Don't try to impress me. I shut down games. Don't try to impress me. I'll give you some wiggities. Here. Don't try to impress me. I'm a bro. Raider Nation. No, I got you guys here. This is nutty here, right here. Where's my guy? Don't go your bottle. No, 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 bato, chamo, 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 sí. Bato. No, no, chamo en Venezuela. No, no, it's your brother, bro, bro, bro. Subtitles. Yeah, amigo, amigo, bro, 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 chamo, chamo, bro, bro. In Serbian is bato. Next scene. Next scene. We got Jesus. Hey, look, this is what it is. Destiny, hey, Philippine 318. 5,000 years ago, he's his family. Gojo 316. Gojo 316, bro. Oh my God. This is it. For me, one, one and only. No reincarnations. I'm out. I can't. Absolute A. This is the original Sumerian. <laughs> She's no. Which way for my hair? It's my age. Oh, shit. Okay. You're the kind of my guy. Okay, I got you. I That's got his. You. Are you filming him? Yeah, I got you. Okay, good. Hey. Hey. No, no, we're here. What did I just tell you? What did I just tell you? Alo me chamo! Alo me chamo! Alo me chamo! She got it from Serbia. Bam 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 bam. Kako je bato? Pučiću pereru! Meni! So where are we here, bro? Tampa, Tampa. Hold on, come here, Tampa. It's Manny's birthday. It's Manny's birthday. It's Manny's birthday. It's Manny's birthday. But where are we here? Birthday. My friend brought me to a random bar. Over here. What, is, what does this bar represent? Tranquilo. I am not. Can I? I don't want to get married ever. But I can have girlfriends. Do you know? Kilo. Not. I don't need one. I'll give you one. No, no, no. I will take one of these. Yeah. I mean, like you just so. Oh, it died. I think it turned off. Really? No, it did not turn off. You turned the light off. You just look. Tap the back screen. Tap the back screen. I just turned it around my own fucking face. Tap the back screen. Yeah, I did. You told me. I turned it around. So I just. You got my man. To all the people that are just coming over here. Do you have a girlfriend already? Yes, a couple. I have a couple. Can I have you one? Sure, why not? I have a child, so like it's gonna be like last minute. And it's like, okay. Yeah, okay. Shut cool. the okay. Fuck as, long as, you, up. as long as you got the passion. Right? It's okay. Who cares? Right? Yeah. All right. Okay. As long as we're cool, we're cool, right? Hey, wiggle, 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 Oh, why not? Why not? Why not? not much. We're, we're getting married. Life, How can you not have my number? Please. Really? I'll, 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 I'll do all the work. I trust you. Hey, take that. Take that. I trust you. I trust you. I, trust you. I just need a housewife. You need a housewife. A housewife. No, no. A house husband. I'm a, no, no way. I cannot. I need to be a man. 
Well, I need to go out man. and be a hustler. You can do whatever hustler. you want. I yeah. cannot be in the house though. Yeah, you okay as long as you clean. No, I cannot clean. As long as you don't make more mess. I will come home and do what I do. Okay. But I will provide everything. I told you. Then if you I will provide. provide. No, I will provide everything. Well, I still have to provide. This is my child, not yours. I'm not gonna put that on you. I like broke you. I was like. But I'll provide everything like, for you. You can, you can do whatever you want as long as you like, love me in a moment. Out and about. Uh -huh. <laughs> this hey. is these other <laughs> you, Serbia. You can have yeah. whatever you want as long as you love me like, in a moment. Yeah, all right. yeah. All right. Very, very okay, different from what I normally yeah. do. All right. But I've been drinking. Is that a yes? Yes, yes. I'm in America, but we're in Rome, right? All right. Please. Yes, 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 yes. What's your name? My name is Carlos Jose Gregorio Volpes Morales. <laughs> All that. Just say it really fast ten times. Morales? Yeah. Say it, Morales? Say it, say it ten times really ship, fast. That's fair. <laughs> yes. How did you know? Say it very fast. Okay, me say too. Carlos Jose Gregorio Morales. Carlos? Carlos. Carlos. That's all you need to know. Carlos. Carlos Morales. Exactly. Carlos, yes. Are you down to still cook? Carlos. Like, over the Carlos. Uh, Carlitos. Carlitos Way. You, whatever you, you need Spanish, me to do. You don't speak Spanish, right? Watch out. Sorry, bro. Okay, All right. Trust All right. I'm gonna so jump really in. Though, this. Can I have your number? Yeah, yes. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I trust you. You. Whatever you need to do. Where are you, hermano? Where is it? Where is it? Bro, where's the, what's your background? <laughs> so I'm, I'm born here in Anchorage, Alaska. My father is from a town outside of Texas. Yo. After party in Anchorage. I don't want to drink anymore. Tequila? I just want to ask him where he's from, bro. He's from here. No, he's from here, but his the background. He's from Mexico. What part of Mexico, cabron? I'm, from, I'm here from Mexico. My family is what from Mexico. What part of Mexico, bro? No, well, no I, I start with a B. I know it's, I'm trying to remember the name. I feel like a fucking failure right now. My parents would approve of you. Perfect. All right, Mexico, cabrón. Hey, salud. Salud. Hello, Hope. I'm good. <laughs> Anchorage is way crazier than you guys think We just went inside a place over there and they had a bowl and They said that we had to get a, a bottle of water for my man here Don't go to gas Yeah, <laughs> fuck gas light Fuck gas light All right I just found out it was right across from where we were but They, they had a bowl that you can like jump on and Grab on. Not that I wanted to do it, but it was just there. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, right.